Hey guys, it's Julie here with Tip Ranks, and today we're taking a look at three big name stocks that come in as unanimous strong buys. So let's get into it. All right guys, welcome back. Thank you all so much for being here. Today, we're taking a look at three big name companies that not only have attracted ratings from dozens of Wall Street analysts, but more impressively, they come in with unanimous buy ratings. So today, we're gonna take a look at these companies, what it is that they do, and what those Wall Street analysts are predicting for the stock's future. We came across these stocks today using the TipRank Stock Screener. Found under research tools on the stock screener, we looked for a strong buy consensus from analysts with some double digit upside potential and then sorted by ratings here. From that, we got our list and we took a look for some solid blue circles. You can check out the tip rank stock screener for yourself over on the website or on the mobile app as well. Links are in the description down below. And before we get into these three stocks, this is your friendly reminder that if you enjoy today's video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. And let's get right into our three strong buy stocks. First on the list today is T-Mobile. Trading under the ticker TMUS, they're currently priced at about $177 per share, having gained 35% in the past year and in the last three months climbing over 10%. T-Mobile is one of the largest names in the U.S. telecom industry. Founded back in 1994, this modern telecom provider has become the nation's leader in providing 5G wireless services and is the only wireless network provider to offer 5G across the whole of the lower 48, as well as in Alaska, Hawaii, Puerto Rico, and the U.S. Virgin Islands. Along with their solid lead in the 5G market, they're also working to improve their position in the U.S. rural and business wireless markets as well. Notably, in their most recent quarterly earnings report, they had best in industry figures as far as net account and customer additions go, along with an earnings beat. For their Q1, they reported earnings per share of $2, which beat expectations by 14 cents per share, and revenue came in at $16.1 billion, which grew 4% year-over-year and was some best in industry growth. They saw net account additions of $218,000 and net customer additions of $1.2 million. And with those strong quarterly results, T-Mobile also increased some of their future guidance. Earlier this month, we did have an analyst from Bank of America increase their price target on the stock. They reiterated their buy rating, saying after a visit to T-Mobile's headquarters, they emerged with a positive outlook on the company's ability to execute its current plan and identify growth opportunities within a mature market. They said the proposed U.S. cellular acquisition is viewed as a chance to accelerate market penetration in smaller markets and utilize additional spectrum efficiently. They also noted T-Mobile's efforts to minimize churn following price increases, highlighting the company's commitment to maintaining its value leadership and network quality. The T-Mobile stock currently has 16 analyst ratings, of course, all coming in with a buy. And analyst average price target comes in at $190.85, implying an upside potential of about 7.7%. That most recent rating is from Bank of America with an upside of 9.9%, and our high-end price target comes in with an upside of nearly 14%. On the low end, we have to scroll a bit back here to a buy rating uh, with an upside of 1.5%. Our second big name stock attracting all buy ratings is Delta Airlines. They trade under the ticker DAL, currently priced at $49.54. In the past year, their stock has gained 16.7%, and in the last three months has climbed 7.8%. Delta Airlines, of course, is one of the major airline carriers in the United States. In fact, they are the oldest operating airline in the U.S. and the seventh oldest in the world. They offer flights to over 300 destinations across 60 countries, aiming to connect people and communities to each other and their potential by creating opportunities. There are over 100,000 Delta people leading the way to deliver a world-class customer experience on over 4,000 daily flights. In 2023, the company served 190 million people, and they've started this year off strong as well with their Q1 earnings report, where not only they had an earnings beat, they also reported record revenue. For their Q1, they reported earnings per share of 45 cents, beating expectations by 8 cents per share, and operating revenue came in at 13.7 billion, which was a quarterly record. The airline also had a record March quarter completion factor, and they're expecting record June quarter revenue as well. In mid-May, we had an analyst from HSBC initiate coverage on the Delta Airlines stock with a buy. They called Delta their preferred play among U.S. airlines. The analyst liked the company's strong network mix and competitive positioning at all of its key hubs, which offers a rich mix of traffic. Moreover, Delta is the only player with non-unionized labor. Delta's unanimous strong buy is based on a 17 current analyst ratings. 
and their average price target comes in at about $60 per share, implying an upside potential of over 21% from current prices. Looking at our list down below, on the low end, we do have a buy rating here with an upside of 1%, and our high-end price target does come from Morgan Stanley at $85, which would be an upside of 71%. If you've made it to our third stock today, this is your reminder to make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Our third big name unanimous strong buy stock is none other than Amazon. Trading under the ticker AMZN, they're currently priced at $184.75 per share. The Amazon stock has climbed over 47% in the past year and has gained about 3.5% in the last three months. Amazon is the world's largest online retailer, but in addition to e-commerce, they also have multiple businesses, including cloud computing, digital streaming, and artificial intelligence. Known for their speedy Amazon Prime delivery, it is anticipated that Amazon will account for over 40% of U.S. retail e-commerce sales in 2024, which equates to over $490 billion. But they also have a large presence in cloud computing, with their Amazon Web Services offering over 200 services globally. Amazon shared their Q1 earnings report back at the end of April. Of course, they came out with solid results and also strong year-over-year -year growth across the board. For their first quarter, they reported earnings per share of $0.98, cents, easily surpassing the anticipated $0.84 cents per share. Net sales increased 13% to $143.3 billion compared to $127 billion in the last year, and they saw their North America segment sales increase 12%. Just last week, we had a five-star analyst from JP Morgan reiterate their buy rating on the stock. They noted that Amazon's shift to a regionalized fulfillment infrastructure in the U.S. is driving significant efficiency improvements, and the firm is projecting that overall capex to increase 35% year-over-year to $65 billion this year. They're ramping their logistics as a service strategy after having managed through the logistics investment cycle and driven operational leverage through regionalization. They said that Amazon remains the analyst's best idea. And it seems he is not the only one. The Amazon stock has attracted a whopping 42 analyst ratings. And yes, every single one of those comes in as a buy. And with those 42 analyst ratings, our average price target comes in at $221, which would imply an upside potential of nearly 20%. Of course, it is a very long list here of price targets, so I won't go through every single one. A lot of them in those mid-teens to 20% upside. Our high-end price target, we have several at 245 for an upside of over 32%, and our low-end price target would be $200 for an upside of 8.3%. So there we have three big name companies that have all received unanimous buy ratings from Wall Street. Let me know your thoughts on these three stocks in the comments down below. You guys know I love hearing from you. And of course, please keep in mind that these videos are never a suggestion to buy or sell any specific stock, just sharing what those Wall Street analysts are looking at. So make sure you stick to your own investment plan. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you back here next time.